early in the morning there is a part one that I did actually uh, going to meet Fatima today yeah in the first part of this uh, Manzi Manzi rebellion I contacted Fatima and I'll be meeting Fatima to actually have a chit chat to know more about uh, prostitution and the prevalence of sexually transmitted infections. Sexually transmitted infections are categorized in the scope of medical microbiology. So uh, we have viral. Viral we have herpes simplex viruses, HSV, and HPV that is human papillomavirus. We also have now our very own HIV and AIDS. Angol we have our candidiasis. We have the parasitic. Parasitic we have trichomonas vaginalis. And also we have our bacterium. We have gonorrhea, syphilis. All those are sexually transmitted infections. And the sole purpose of Manzimanzi rebellion is at this erratic shift of uh, these STIs from prostitution to married couples. Prevalence have actually shifted from prostitution to married couples. This is because prostitutes, as you as you had uh, Fatima telling me, that she doesn't do it without her condom you see and she was actually requesting me to even come with my condom you see so in prostitution according to the research that i've done in prostitution they are so keen in the safe sex practices a full proof of prostitutes are using a uh, safe sex practices is in the local dailies uh, in the media they always complain that they are those guys that are forced them to not use a uh, protection and it really hurts them unlike the married couples in terms of uh, trust and true love they actually don't use our uh, protection this has actually led to the shift of uh, the prevalence of sexually transmitted infection from prostitution to married couples this shift has actually inclined due to uh, infidelity cases another thing that i would like to add up into this uh, Manzi Manzi rebellion is majorly applied among uh, the married couples, yeah? Even not uh, married couples, even couples, the ones who say that they are dating. Family plan, it's called uh, family planning. Yeah? I was actually uh, watching the news. You see, now males, yeah? Males have actually adapted a new form of family planning. It's called vasectomy. Uh, that is a new wave, uh, especially in Kenya. I've heard that uh, so many males are even taking that vasectomy. For the ladies, they actually use coils that are inserted in the vagina. They, uh, they also used uh, no plant implant systems, the tubes that get embedded inside the muscles. Yeah, they also have uh, the tablets. Yeah? Actually, I was uh, working some time back uh, at a lab that was uh, affiliated by a chemist, a pharmacy. And uh, most uh, ladies, they use microgynon, microgynon tablets for family planning. The major tool I used in family planning, it's a condom. That's the major. Even when I was a kid, I used to know that people use a condom not to get STIs and also to prevent pregnancy. There is this uh, condom burst. You see, uh, youths now uh, complain that, oh, I was just uh, doing the thing and there was condom burst. I got freaked out. I went and took some peps. That is a post-exposure prophylaxis. You have a condom burst and you actually freak out thinking that maybe you, you are exposed to sexually transmitted diseases or any of the infections. That is when now you take the peps. So a condom is a uh, so I will demonstrate how a condom should be used. I have a packet here. I have a packet of condom and I have a cucumber. So this uh, condom. You see, a condom, one, when you are buying a condom, you actually have to check the expiry date when you are buying it. And then also have to check the make of the condom. You see, there are some condoms are called spermicidal condoms. These are condoms that are embedded with our chemicals that actually uh, kills the sperms. You see, so we have a packet of condom here. So these are the sachets of condom. These are instructions here. But you see, people don't people ignore this. Yeah. So uh, 
one thing you should not tear a condom with your teeth that would actually tear the condom itself even before you start using it so it's actually simple the sachet here has brake lines these are weak lines here so you just uh tear this a condom has something here you see there's this extension yeah there's this extension you see when you just wait like this there will be this uh, the extension will be filled with air like this so the, the first thing you're supposed to hold that extension like this yeah so you just uh, wait like this actually press on it like that and you just wear without allowing the feeling of air in that uh, extension there that extension is uh, used to collect you just remove it like this it's, uh, it's supposed to collect the spawns that is the function of that extension so that is how we use a condom so this one will actually help you to avoid a condom burst yeah a condom burst does not mean that you are that uh, superman who did the thing with so much energy guys so uh i'll be meeting a fatima i'm just uh, preparing myself <music> Fatima has refused to meet with me. I'm pardon? I'm young. To call me near. To call me. To call me seven. Condom is a bus. Condom is a bus. Oh, ile ile da flan. Eh, uta ya kwatu ya imagine. Kuna wale wanatumia wanaekanga zile tubes kwa muscles. Wanaekanga. Ndio wasipate nyumba. Fatima, <laughs> 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 <laughs>